Hello there guys and welcome to your first look at the Rust update on the 5th of April 2018. This week we have a brand new mode of transport. Boats are now in the game. They can be found at rivers, lakes, lighthouses and beaches. They require low grade fuel to run which goes in the engine and there is 12 slots of storage in the front. When you find one, you'll have to push it into the water by using E. Then you mount it in the driver's seat and then you can turn on the engine. You control the boat by using the ASDW buttons the same as when you are walking around. The boat will fit four people. One person drives, two people sit in front and one person sits on top of the storage facing backwards. The boat has 400 health and if it hits zero health it will sink. The boats also will decay if left outside, so you will need yourself a boathouse. But don't worry, because if your boat decays or gets damaged, it is able to be repaired. Along with all the updates with boats this month, we have also had some attention drawn over to water. Dead bodies will now float, which makes looting a hell of a lot easier. Bullets will now also impact water. And if you're lucky enough to get yourself a boat, you can go and drive out about a square away from the edge of the map and you will find yourself floating junk piles. These function the same as normal junk piles except they are a hell of a way out in the water. You can swim to them, but I wouldn't advise it. This month there has also been a lot of work on artificial intelligence. The CH-47 now has its brain installed, which is a scientist. Scientists will pilot, shoot, operate all of the guns on the CH-47 and it will be live as of the update. It will drop a hackable crate which when it drops down to the ground all you have to do is run over and hold down E. Once it's initiated it will start to hack the crate which will take 15 minutes for it to unlock. You'll need to hold the crate down and if you are still there when the 15 minutes is up you will get your loot. If you manage to kill the CH-47 while it is flying around, if it hasn't dropped a crate yet and it still has one, it will be dropped when it is destroyed. The CH-47 is not the only AI update we have this month. Scientists will now spawn out and around in the world near junk piles. These scientists are slightly different to the ones that you will find in the military tunnels. They don't have as high tier equipment but they are still going to be deadly. There have also been multiple tweaks to scientists over this past month to further improve them. This month's update brings about the death and destruction of bunker bases. Due to the conditional building models that have been added, when you place down a roof, the triangle bits on the side are no longer automatically placed. You now have to place them yourself, which means it's impossible to build a bunker base. This month trees have also got some more love. There are new trees and new foliage in the game. You'll also notice that it is all slightly dynamic and the wind has been improved, which means they flow around a little better. You'll also be noticing that the size of forests has increased. You may also notice with this update that your in-game map has got a complete overhaul. It looks a hell of a lot better and you can easily now see the topology of the area you are looking at. There is also a nifty little focus button which means if you are moving while looking at the map, the map will focus and follow you and if you aren't looking at where you are currently, if you hit the focus button it will automatically go straight to you. Hapis has also got some updates this month with multiple new additions to unused areas including a new sewer branch, junkyard, and a new Hapis exclusive monument, Outpost B3. There are also multiple new caves and tunnels, and you'll be finding radiation in the tunnels at Site B. Sadly, the next couple of things I can actually show you any clips for. However, there are still some interesting things here. Savas King of the Hill map has also received a little bit of an update this week along with Hapis. The loot tables have been updated to include multiple items that are missing from Savas because they've been introduced into the game since the map was added. You'll also be able to find sedans and CH-47 spawning in in the King of the Hill map. 
And if you are playing over there, you may notice that the player spawns are also slightly updated. We've also got an update to the AK-47, which is unable to be tested at the minute as it is not actually live on staging. The recoil is now more random, and when hip firing, there is more aim cone. Now this won't apply if you are aiming down the sight, so don't all go crazy at once. We've also got some new hairstyles in the game, and the old hairstyles have been updated a little bit. You may have heard, if you've watched my other update videos throughout the month, me talking about monument puzzles. Now this seems to have completely dropped off a cliff. There's nothing more that seems to have happened with it, and I can't see anything yet in the game. And then just to run through a couple of other little things. The cave spike pit will only damage you if you are moving. The rocket launcher cost has been reduced. High velocity rocket price has been reduced to nearly one quarter of a normal rocket. Many guns have had their high quality metal cost reduced. And the heavy plate armor has had its costs halved. That is everything that I have for you guys this month and I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you hit that like button. And if you would like to see more content, make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day.